Hi everyone, it's Maggie Clark with ID8 TV and we're at the 2018 Scuba Show and I'm here with Meg Donnett of the Women Divers Hall of Fame. Meg, thanks so much for joining us today. My pleasure. Meg and I have a special bond because we are both Margaret's, so that's pretty exciting today. And Meg, I would love for you to tell us a little bit about your scuba diving journey. How did you get involved in scuba diving? I was invited to a scuba course uh, over 50 years ago and I decided I would always be near the water so this was something I would like to learn. I knew nothing about it and I have been diving ever since. That's incredible. So what are some of the best places that you think are the ideal scuba diving destinations in the world? Oh my goodness. Uh, Palau, Fiji, I can tell you all about the South Pacific because I live on the West Coast, I live in California. Uh, I have been diving in the Caribbean and the Bahamas and it's absolutely beautiful. Everything underwater and, and we now have a wonderful uh, ecology and awareness of preservation of our reefs and our underwater uh, ecosystems. So it has grown so much over the last 50 years. I was in, an instructor for many years and I now help run a hyperbaric chamber in Monterey, California where we treat divers who get into trouble. So it's been a wonderful experience uh, seeing all phases of diving. Sounds unbelievable and you've been all over the world and you've had such an incredible history and so many years, I can't believe over 50 years you've been doing this. It's really outstanding. Well, thank you. Yeah. It's been fun. It's been wonderful and I'm still diving. That's great. Yeah. Can you tell us how you, as a woman, get into the Hall of Fame? Uh, our, we're me our members are, uh, they're recommended that someone nominates them and they have two letters of recommendation. It's based on their contribution to many different parts of diving. It could be photography, it could be journalism, it could be just diving. We have many members who are uh, former military, are still active military female divers hard hat divers and we're just trying the women divers hall of fame we're trying to pay back and forward to bring on new young female divers to keep this great sport going how many women are in the hall of fame oh uh, my goodness i uh, over 200. Wow. we we started at, yeah we've been in existence since 2000 they started out with uh, thinking it would be a one-time event, and now they realized, oh my goodness, we forgot to invite, and we forgot to invite. So every year they uh, have about six members who are new members who are brought on, who have made major contributions over the lifetime. I, we heard De Z uh, Zale Perry this morning speaking, and sh she's been diving since the 50s and before. Wow, that's yeah. incredible. Well, Meg, right now we're going to ask you our question of the day. <laughs> and our question of the day is, what is the most exciting thing that you've seen while scuba diving? For me, probably the most exciting thing has been the mantas. I, I just, being able to dive with mantas is absolutely incredible. Sounds magical. It is magical. Yeah. Wow. Well, thank you so much for joining us here, Meg. Thank you for coming in and looking at our Women Divers Hall of Fame. Our pleasure. Well, thanks so much. I'm Maggie Clark with ID8 TV.